Coming up on today's show, my review of the Marvels. Is it worth seeing? Let's talk. Annihilator! I don't like that name. I love me some great superhero movies. I've always been more of a Marvel type of a guy than a DC type of a guy. I didn't hate Black Adam, Shazam Fury of the Gods, or The Flash. I thought they were okay, not great films, but certainly not deserving of the negative flack they got. They were fine, but not great. But that didn't save them from box office Armageddon. Heck, even two Batmans couldn't save The Flash from becoming one of the biggest flops in cinema history. But then we come to the Marvels, the latest offering from the MCU. To say this film is a mess is an understatement. They go for a humorous vibe that falls flat most of the time. I'd say the direction, pacing and special effects are all fine here. It's just such a convoluted mess that makes it hard to sit through. The plot, as such, sees the collapse of the supreme intelligence which leads to a civil war among the Kree species in their home world of Hala. The conflict renders the planet barren as it loses its air, water, and sunlight. Darben, the new leader of the Kree, retrieves one half of the quantum bands, of which Kamala Khan has the other half. Darben harnesses the power of the band, pairs it with her staff, named the Universal Weapon, and uses it to tear apart a jump point in space. The resulting anomaly is discovered by S.W.O.R.D. Meanwhile, Nick Fury, now residing at the Sabre space station, hosts peace talks between the Kree and the Skrull Empire. Fury calls in Carol Danvers and Monica Rambeau to investigate a jump point anomaly near Sabre. When Monica touches it, she, Carol, and Kamala switch places through teleportation. The switching causes the three to fight each other's Kree enemies, leaving the Khan's house destroyed in their wake. The battle is on, and all over the place. It's hard to determine who is getting the upper hand in many of these battle scenes. One of the most ridiculous scenes in the movie sees the inhabitants of Nick Fury's space station having to evacuate, without enough escape pods to accommodate everyone. So, a group of cats is used to absorb the inhabitants via tentacles that come from the cats' mouths. They swallow up the inhabitants, which are too big for their tiny bodies to take in. But hey, logic is the least of our worries in this convoluted mess. They later spit them out when arriving at a safe point. The film focuses less on its three heroes and more on the idea of multiverses, which is getting stale. And, even though you could still make the concept of a multiverse interesting, like in Spider-Man No Way Home, this film fails to capitalize on that idea and just gives us gobbledygook explanations that do not further the plot or potential of those ideas. The Flash did a better job of conveying its multiverse potential than this film. The acting among the three leads is fine, not exceptional, but I feel the fault doesn't lie with the ladies as much as the script which doesn't allow the leads to grow as characters as much as it could. The villain Dar Ben is adequately played by Zaw Ashton, though she's not remarkable, barely having a presence and is a one-note character, not enough depth to challenge the actress. She is defined simply by her obsession with gathering both wristbands which she needs to tear a hole in the fabric of time and space. The humor is derived from the fact that every time the Marvels use their powers, they somehow switch places. It's mildly humorous at first, but gets old real quick. All in all, the weak script drags this one into the ground. Not worth the price of admission. Two out of five stars. That was our show for today. What did you think? Have you seen the Marvels? Did you like the film? Did you agree with my review? Let me know in the comments below. And, while you're at it, I would be honored if you subscribe to my channel share this video, and check out my own Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise also in the comments. Until next time, this is Axel and for Kevin Given saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you, and keep reaching for the stars.